Well, it was a game that saw James Neal score his league-leading ninth goal of the season, while Ethan Bear scores in back-to-back -back games for the first time in his career. And Miko Koskinen turned aside 25 of 26 shots for his fourth win over a 2-1 victory here at Rogers Place against the Eastern Conference Detroit Red Wings. Welcome to the live post-game show. I'm Tony Barr. We're going to step inside the Oilers locker room in just a few moments, hear from the players and also head coach Dave Tippett. Yeah, for sure. I think it felt better. Um, that was going to be a desperate hockey team in Detroit coming in here. They played us hard, so uh, I liked the way we battled all night. It was uh, one of our best games, and um, nice to get another win. For you, kind of more of the same when you're feeling it. You're just yeah. still there, you know. Yeah, <laughs> feel good. Uh, uh, trying to get to the net as much as I can. Um, I thought our line was really good tonight. I thought we were on pox. We were making good plays. We, we were finding each other. Um, so it was a it was a solid game from us, and nice to find the back net again. At a personal level, when you're playing as good as you are, does the puck just seem to follow you at times? Yeah, I think when you just when you work to get to those areas, when you're uh, when you're feeling it, when you're kind of in the zone, and um, you know you're yeah, you feel like you're dangerous in the offensive zone every time you get it. So it's a good feeling. Um, you know, you ride it for as long as you can, and then you know sometimes it goes away, and then you got to fight to get it back. So. Um, you kind of try to do the right things off the ice and, um, you know, keep your legs fresh and, and do everything to keep that confidence as high as you can. So um, it's nice to have right now and continue to roll here. You know, it's still relatively early in the season in terms of tracking points, but four points are four points, pretty big four points at home. We lost a couple of yeah, we, want, we talked about it. We want this building to be a hard building to play in. You know that teams that are coming in here are going to be in for a, uh, a tough game. So um, it's great to win in front of our home fans. It's uh, Couple good games for us. You probably never heard of Ethan Bear. We had the right things I did this summer and uh, stay focused, stay hungry, and keep trying to get better each day. And uh, you know, and make sure uh, every time I get a chance to get on the ice, I try to get better. Are you supposed to be doing the interviews in your helmet? Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't seen anyone. Has everyone else done theirs? I haven't know. I'm good. Yeah. No, maybe just talk about the minutes that, um, that you've been taking, and uh, it's pretty heavy minutes, five on five. The twenty a game overall. How it feels to be able to handle those minutes? With the competition you're playing. Against. Uh, yeah, it's uh, you know I, I feel fine. Um, I don't really think about that stuff too much. I really just think, take things one shift at a time, making sure I'm dialed in, and. Um, Pretty much making sure I could, you know, move, advance the puck as best I can, and you know, give myself the best opportunity to shoot when I get that opportunity. On that goal, were you just like Thanks, get, it, get it on net and maybe go for the best? Uh, no, I just I made I made sure I, you know, I, I made a fake, and you know, um, once I seen Elena, I kind of been was kind of patient, and then uh, made sure I, I got it there with some uh, some good height. I got pretty furious that last couple of minutes as the strike was pressing. What was that? What was that like for you guys? Uh, it was good. Um, I, I really didn't feel too much pressure out there. Uh, we're just trying to make plays and keep advancing it, um, but you know that's the that's the thing is that you know you don't want to panic in those type of situations. You want to stay composed. This was a good learning experience for I mean everybody but yourself included to, to be in a situation like that and, and come through. Yeah, and, um, yeah, not like there's every game you know you get put in different situations and um, you know the ones you don't do good on you you watch those over and over and you know see what you can do better. So yeah, I think try to learn from every game. Your game's growing, hey. Like I think it's always in uh, any, any professional sport when you're winning, winning games, the atmosphere goes goes up. So everyone is enjoying it. Uh, it's positive. People wondered when a player as important as Adam Larson got hurt, how the blue line would hold up. You see a player like Ethan Bear playing almost 20 minutes a night. You know, at his age, what are you seeing from your blue line that's impressive in him? Bears have been he's been amazing. Like it's fun to watch him. Like his confidence level is uh, out of this. Out of this league, he's doing everything right, and uh, definitely great to watch him right now. Thanks. 
Two different games for you guys. The last, the last couple, Philly was was one way. This was a different way. How do you how do you sort of compare that? Yeah, we tried to play a little bit more like defense first mentality today. Today and uh, when I think when you do that, it creates also like more more offensive because you have the puck more and uh, you have more energy energy go on the other end. So yeah, we I think we managed that well. Nico, in training camp, you're pretty vocal about working on your game over the summer. Do you feel like it's really paying off for you right now? It's hard to say. I, I think that's you guys, <laughs> you guys' job to thought about that. But I think it's the main thing for myself that I put everything out there during this summer, and that builds like a confidence, like all the way. And uh, yeah. Last year was your first year back in the NHL after a stay in the KHL. Do you feel a little bit more comfortable out there in terms of angles and all that? Oh, of course, that helped. I didn't start like um, zero points, so it, it really helped a lot. And I practiced like basically the whole summer in a small rink too, and uh, so I was ready, more ready this year. Thanks, Miko. Thank you. Off the draw, Edmonton in the offensive zone. Nugent Hopkins points in four straight, loading up. What timer chase on a stop made. David brings it right back, back into the zone. Nugent Hopkins drop pass, dry settle around one man. Give and go with McDavid back in front and off the post. What a chance for James Neal by Columbus. And Nugent Hopkins lead pass left wing. Chase on's got a step to the net, back hitter save. Rebound swatted away at the last moment. Edmonton able to clear. It's Kara to Patrick Russell. Down the left-hand side, green back. Wrist shot off the crossbar, and Patrick Russell's knocking on the door. Cassian finally squirts loose, and the Red Wings lob it down the ice. Look Happy out. to see you in a race of wraparound effort and a save. What a split by Koskinen. And then muscled out at his skates and contained by Nugent Hopkins. Out to Nurse, slap pass redirected, save made. Rebound score, James Steele. Picks up a loose puck and smokes it by Jonathan Bernier. Time, 7.39, and James Neal as the first goal of the hockey game. one nothing Edmonton. I got to love it if you're an Oilers fan. I mean, think about what happened there. Long cycle in the O zone. They win two puck battles down low. Nugent Hopkins comes away with it. Good shot by Nurse driving the lane. Hard was chased on. He gets the deflection, which means that Bernier couldn't control a rebound, and the hot stick of James Neal comes through again. His league leading ninth of the year, time 7.39. Brought to you by Alltech Supply, strength through distribution. And I think what fooled Bernier a little bit is Chase on actually had the first opportunity on his own rebound. Yep. He whiffed and Neil. Well, there's been a strong third period club as well. Here's McDavid to dry set a wrist shot off the post. That is three. Under pressure from Ronick. Back to the point, Bear. Fake the shots. Slide step to his right. Rister score. Through a screen, may have been tipped. Ethan Bear, though, the key was getting it on net. He does, and Edmonton takes a 2 nothing lead. The slide step to create a lane, and I'm not sure Bernier ever saw it. I think that's gonna be Bear's second of the year. Cassian, an excellent screen in front. You said the key word, slide step. I mean, the poise to make that move against a good player like Bertuzzi, Gets the puck through, changes the angle of the shot, net front presence from Cassian, and unable to pick it up was Bernier. But uh, a couple puck bobbles on Ethan Bear, who's had such a tremendous game, and the Red Wings came away in possession. Bertuzzi forced the play, pocked it back to the point, and it went through. Riley Sheehan. Madison Mantha, first of the spot. Ronick, Larkin, wide open, wrist shot block. Save made by Koskinen. Reed Russell off to dry settle. The net is empty. Dry settle to McDavid. Shoots off the post. Rebound. Patrick Russell healed it wide. The Kaiser might have gotten a piece. Now off the draw. Red Wings get it back. Ronick to Nielsen. Five seconds. Detroit's going to shoot. Sharp angle shot is blocked. And Edmonton's going to hang on. The Oilers approved the 7 and 1, 4 and 0 oh at home. And Miko Koskinen's 25 saves. Enough to extract the stuff of victory. The Oilers back atop the Western Conference with a record of 7-1 and one as they head to the road.
you've uh, maybe just compare your team's overall play tonight compared to last game and what was what was better? We competed harder defensively tonight and we didn't capitalize on chances like we did the other night. <laughs> That's simple, but it was a, it was a hard fought 2-1 game. They're a desperate team. They'd lost three in a row, I think. So they came in and uh, I thought we checked well, had some good opportunities that we missed on, but uh, for the most part, like we competed hard the last 10 minutes of that game. It was they're pushing and we're uh, we're competing hard. We're not giving up a lot. Like lots of people in lanes protecting pucks, getting pucks out when we needed to. So all in all, it's probably the kind of game we needed coming off that other game. And anytime you can learn like that and still win, we'll take that. Goals in back-to-back -back games for Ethan Bear. What are you seeing from his game that's allowing him to find some offensive success? Hey, just real solid. I mean, the goals are... The goals are nice, but the, he's playing a lot of real hard minutes with with uh, Dion. That's uh, that, uh, you know, like there, he's giving us real quality minutes on both sides of the puck. How much relief is he giving you guys as a coaching staff that he's playing 20, 23 minutes a night, and and he's giving you the minutes that he? Had? Well, we need it right now with Larson out. He's come in and really filled a void for us there. So he's been uh, he was a surprise in camp, and now he's I mean he's a good NHL player right now. So. We need him. James Neal said he had better chances than the one he scored on tonight, but is that when you're going good, he picks the yeah. hard side and he had better chances than that and didn't score? I think he hit the post on that one from real tight that he was frustrated on, but uh, that's who he is. He finds some, finds some uh, opportunities and he capitalizes. I thought that's the second game. That line was pretty good. They had one, uh, one shift that they got pinned in a little bit with about five or six left minutes left to go, but didn't give up much there. But the line, the line worked hard, and they capitalized on one chance, and it was uh, it was another solid game from them. Dave, what did you know about Miko Koskinen when you got here, and uh, is he exceeding your expectations with his play? Um, I'm not sure that I. I'm not sure I set expectations on him. I watched him play early on in the or on the run that he played real well on. I think it was just after Hitch got here, and he played real well. And I watched him play the last 20 games where he looked really tired, really tired and burnt out. So my expectations were for him to come in here and just be a solid goaltender, and that's exactly what we're getting here right now. I mean, you look at every game, uh, even the game that Schmidt made the couple mistakes, he was still a good player in the game. You know, we made the puck handling mistakes, but we've got quality starts out of both goaltenders every game this year. And if we can continue that way, that's exactly what we're hoping for.